A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, we will learn how to display customers' ordered data in a gauge chart dynamically. As you choose a customer name from the select list, the gauge pointer moves to the value which is equivalent to the customer's ordered amount. For this video, we will be using this demo customers table, that we have been using throughout our tutorials. A link is provided in the info card above, using which you can create this table. Let's start the proceedings. First of all, you need to upload three JavaScript files and one CSS file. Link for these files is provided in the video description. Go to Shared Components. Click on Static Workspace Files option. Click the Create File button. Select all four files. And click Create button. Next. You have to create a new page. Select blank page option. Here I am selecting the gauge icon for this new page. After page creation, we have to add some regions and page items to this page. Change the page template property from theme default to left side column, which is used for the left side display position for search filters, charts, and other interactive widgets. Scroll down to file URLs section under JavaScript. And paste the reference of the three JavaScript files that we uploaded. These references are provided in the video description in the file named References. Now. Scroll down to CSS section and expand file URLs section. Paste the reference of the CSS file from the same references file in the source code. Another way to find these references is in shared components under static workspace files option. Scroll down to security section, set page access protection property to unrestricted. With the unrestricted property value the page may be requested using a URL, with or without session state arguments and without having to have a checksum. Create a new region. Change its position from body to left side column. The change is immediately reflected in the layout tab in the central pane of page designer. Turn on region display selector property, when turned on, it provides a page level navigation control for other regions on the page. Next, create the following page items. This first page item is a select list page item, which will display the list of customers' names from the demo customers table at runtime. By selecting template property to required floating and turning on value required property, we make a page item mandatory to be selected or filled. Under list of values, set type property to SQL query. Copy this first query from the source code file, which fetches customers first and last names from the demo customers table. When sensitive data must persist in a session, it should be saved in Apex session state tables in encrypted form. By turning off store value encrypted in session state attribute, encrypted stored values are automatically decrypted when read. Create the remaining page items, which are text field page items. This page item will hold gauge labels.
set default type to static. Enter 500 in static value. This value will be displayed in the gauge at runtime. This page item will hold the upper bound values of the gauge, between 5000 and 2500, covered by green color in the gauge. Enter 5000 in the static value, which is the highest value of the gauge. This page item will cover the warning portion of the gauge, between 2500 and 1000, covered by yellow color in the gauge. Enter 2500 in the static value, which is the upper bound of the warning portion. Create another page item. The page item is responsible for the critical area of the gauge, between 0 and 1000, covered by red color. Enter 1000 in the static value, which is the highest value of the critical portion. This item will display the big marks in the gauge called major tick interval. In the static value, you can type any number you want, I have entered 1000, because I want my gauge chart to display a major tick interval after every 1000. Create the last page item, which will display small marks in the gauge known as minor tick interval. In the static value, I have entered 100, so my gauge chart will display a minor tick interval after every 100. In simple words, the concept of major and minor tick intervals can be understood from a normal scale, carrying inches and centimeters respectively. Now, create a new static content type region. Under Source section, expand HTML code area. Copy this HTML code. This HTML code will create the body of our gauge chart. Create a new text field type page item named Ordered Amount. Set source type to SQL query, return single value. Put this second query in the page designer. This query makes a sum of order total column in the demo orders table, where customer ID column value in the demo customers table, matches the name of customer selected in the select list. Replace this page number by using your own page number. Select this second type for used attribute. Next, click on Dynamic Actions tab. Right-click on Page Load Event, and create Dynamic Action.
Click on Show Node. Set Action Property to Execute JavaScript Code. Use this dynamic action code file. This dynamic action code internally controls the whole process of the gauge chart via functions. Don't forget to change the page numbers in this code. Save your work. Click on Run Application button. Expand navigation menu to see the menu entry along with the gauge icon we set. This is our gauge chart. As you choose a customer name from the select list, the gauge pointer moves to the value which is equivalent to the customer's ordered amount. These are the remaining fields. 5000, upper bound of the gauge, covered by green color. 2500, upper bound of the warning portion, covered by yellow color. And 1000, upper bound of the critical portion, covered by red color. Major tick interval, after every 1000 in the gauge chart. Minor tick interval, after every 100. Let's change the values of these two text fields and observe the change. Now, the big marks appear with an interval of 500. And the small marks are now displaying at an interval of 50. Select any other customer from the list. To see its amount in the gauge as well as in the ordered amount text field. That's it for now. Stay tuned to Tech Mining for more stuff like this. Thank you for watching.